my focus is Anthony Yard. Um, it's my dream to be in the corner of Anthony Yard when he wins a world title. And I'm not thinking about nothing else other than that. Constantly, that's my... my and it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We don't give up. And finishing on Anthony, what is the route to that? I'm hearing rumours of Joe Smith Jr. Uh, but the belts all look like they're tied up. Everyone's saying that to me today. Every, Joe Smith Jr. You know, like... That's the rumour circulating on the... Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. As I always am. <laughs> you know when people say I'm going to be honest with you? Like, well, so that means you've been lying to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I only talk to Frank. I'm not. I don't. I don't do all this internet um, uh, matchmaking and all of that. Like Frank will always. Say, Frank is a promoter, but he's also someone that I feel that is my friend as well. Like I can talk to him on a, on a level. And you know we haven't always seen eye to eye. But just like me, me and Anna haven't always seen eye to eye. But does Anthony still have fights left on his contract with uh, Queensbury? Uh, Come on, man. I'm, brother, I joke, but I'm old, brother. I'm old school. You would know, no fact, no person would ever know how much Anthony's getting, how many. Listen, how many fights he's got left on his contract? No, that's like, a, like that's not no one's business. Yeah, the reason I'm asking that is because yeah. all the light heavyweights in the UK are with boxer, um, that, that sort of weight. So obviously, Craig. With boxer? Craig. So we've got Craig, a lot of them are with other promotions. Obviously, you've got Craig Richards, um, you've got um, Wasserman, uh, Lyndon Arthur, Shaq and Beaters. Yeah, Lyndon Arthur is with Channel 5, the, the Sutherland Boys. Uh, Craig Richards is with Eddie and Matchroom. Bawatsi and, and Danaziz are with Boxer. So they're all fragmented. And if there was to be some sort of tournament, everybody would have to get together. So I'm not in this letting man know how much time is on contract and all that. That's all, that's all private business. And, and all, I'm, all everyone knows with regards to me and Anthony, we are fighters. I've always done what's best for Anthony. And uh, Frank Warren has always delivered for us. And um, I'm sure everybody can work together and do something that benefits the fighters and the promoters as well. And uh, if it comes to it, we'll, we'll fight anyone. Which one appeals to you the most out of the British crop? Other than Buatti, because we've had Buatti loads, haven't we? Tell me about the other guys. They're all great fighters. Ooh, listen, for the first time that I can remember, you have four London boys in the top 10 ring magazine light heavyweights. That is incredible. And I, listen, Spencer's the historian. I, I would like him to break down when that has ever happened. If if it has ever happened that you have four boys from London all rated in the top 10 um, of the light heavyweight uh, ring magazine rankings. So you have Anthony at number six, you have Boatsy at number seven, you have Dan Aziz at number eight, and you have Craig Richards at number nine. And I just feel that, well, it's big. That's big, trust me, that, 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 was, that is fantastic. And somewhere along the line, Better Be If is not gonna be here forever. Is he going to want to, if he can't get the Bivol fight, what's he going to do? Just hold on. He's going to have to want to fight us. He's got Callum Smith, who's, who's rated above us four, but he's from Liverpool. Uh, he's due to fight him next. Look, look Callum goes and beats Better Be if, which I give him a great chance of doing after the fight we uh, Better Be if just had with Anthony, just based on wear and tear and what that fight took out of him. Then you get Callum Smith... Buatsi, Richards, Aziz, Yard, Lyndon Arthur, all of us in this mix, all from the UK. It's just exciting time, so there's got to be a lot of chess playing <laughs> uh, going around until then. I hope these guys mix up some great fights to be had. Uh, Tunde, Baba Tunde, should I say, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, and uh, keep doing what you're doing, bro.